I'm very happy to be here with you uh, today, and thank you, uh, BASF, for hosting such an event. Uh, it's quite uh, inspiring for all of us uh, in the industry to learn from other companies uh, and their innovations in the material space, so thanks a lot. Uh, BASF is a key partner of uh, Schneider Electric. I'll show you how, I'll show you how we, we do partner with BASF. We've been buying uh, BASF uh, materials for quite many years, and we see ChemCycle as a great innovation, which is of most uh, interest for us. Likewise, we, we like to have BSF as a key customer to make their sites energy efficient and safe and sustainable. So what I'm going to share with you is our journey so far with BSF in materials innovations in circular economy. So what I will be uh, doing is share with you a few words about what, what we are as a company and why is it relevant for us to do uh, uh, have these discussions with BSF. The first thing is, as a company, we are a leader in energy management and distribution. So uh, the size of the company is here, 26 billion, very much scattered across the globe, and we cater to four markets. Uh, first, buildings like this one, so energy management and distribution of a building like this one, uh, lighting control, HVAC, energy distribution, you know, switch gear, circuit breakers, could be provided by a company like us. But we also cater to industries, data centers and utilities. So we are somehow the backbone of energy management and distribution, and, and that's where we are operating uh, globally. Uh, circular economy is high on the agenda of the company, not only from an environmental perspective, it's very much a way to do business. Uh, here you see a, a video, uh, a picture, sorry, of my CEO, Jean-Pascal Tricoir. This year in Davos, uh, he got a recognition by World Economic Forum of the world's most preeminent committing company in circular economy in the multinational category. So this company, Schneider Electric, has been really recognized as very committed uh, to circularity. A few things about the sector. We have been providing for decades products which last 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So our products are not single-use plastic, by no means. Uh, they are there to be repaired, to be serviced, retrofitted, taken back. So, say, by definition, the sector which we belong to has been circular, by, by definition. But if I want to be more specific in what we are doing in, in becoming circular, and then the link with ChemCycle will come in a second, is first we are designing, we are eco-designing every product. This is, uh, say, the world's most sold air circuit breaker. So this is a typical uh, air circuit breaker. You have maybe tens of those in a building like this one. This is the master pact. And on the top uh, right, you see, first, the materials we use is paramount. So which metal, copper, electronics, aluminum, steel, and plastics are we using. So each of our products are eco-designed. Uh, we are, uh, for, you, for those of you who know the sector, we are under REACH, ROHS, WEEE, Conflict Minerals, and I forgot, Prop 65 in California, Ross China. So we are somehow under a number of standards and virtually the quality of the materials which goes in the product is very important and how much we digitally provide information to our customers. So that's one thing which we do. And this is where ChemCycle uh, is fitting in to, to, to to prefer better materials to others. But circularity in a sector like ours is more seen by, see what we call product circularity, repairing, retrofitting, instead of replacing the entire capex, if you wish, just take back the active component, bring back something new. It's minimizing the cost of ownership. And the last one, which is, again, another avenue which is not plastics related, that's what I'm gonna skip in a second, it's how we change the paradigm providing energy management as a service, to do some leasing, and, and for this we do, do provide those services to data centers, building like this one, where we would be billed by the month, by the year, by the use. So that's where we are. So verse circularity in a nutshell is much broader than materials, but materials is very important. Uh, so we firmed up a partnership, a membership of, uh, with Ellen MacArthur Foundation, a number of companies have done so. For five years now we have been learning and we also leading groups with companies like ours, with technical capital goods, electronics, where we come together to seek better materials, to seek better models to be more circular. So now if I want to be more specific, I likewise brought some goodies with me, and I have a question for you. So this is a, a mini circuit breaker. So a circuit breaker is something you have in your homes, you have 10 of those, 50, 100 of those in your basement, in your kitchen, so this is a mini circuit breaker, and we do manufacture millions of those every year. And this is another one. So one of them is in 
virgin plastics, <laughs> and one of them is in uh, chemcycle uh, plastic. So which is which? <laughs> so I can't even tell you. I know I have a small mark on one of those. So really, visually at least, mechanically for the first uh, touch, the chemcycle provides a very good experience for the first test we've been doing. But what I want to share with you is we are at the beginning of a journey with this uh, product, and we are testing it further. So this is a prototype which I'm sharing with you today. It came from early June. We did it with BASF teams. Uh, and our R&D teams and BASF work together to, uh, to future-proof or to robust-proof that product and make more of those recycled um, circuit breakers. Why are we interested by ChemCycle? Is because what I said earlier, uh, the products which can come back into the loop may have been 20 years or 30 years in the business, in, in a building like this one. At that time, the chemical substance regulations were so different. Today, we need to have phthalate-free, uh, brominated, uh, flame retardant-free, halogen-free, whatever. So you, you, you have different chemicals which are back in the waste of our products, which are not allowed anymore in the regulation. So a chemical recycling for us is very appealing and interesting, unlike mechanical, because it allows some features of recycling which were non-existent before. Uh, to conclude and to show you some examples on the picture, that's so this product today doesn't carry yet the Schneider electric logo because it's not yet robust proof. Uh, we are doing currently mechanical testing, heat testing. Uh, in, in this chamber of this product to protect your electrical equipment at home, uh, there, there can be an electrical arc. We need to check whether the plastic from ChemCycle is going to be having the same or superior features to resist to high temperature, high pressure colors, uh, UV retardant. So these are the tests we are currently doing for before we can apply the logo of Schneider Electric on the uh, products. But we are hopeful that we can find a solution which has to be for sure uh, technically uh, aligned with our standards and expectations. Uh, and, and, and also we meet expectations of stakeholders. Why are we doing this? We are doing this because first you've heard our company is, is wanting to be at the forefront of that innovation. It's what we believe upon. Our CEO is pushing us to be more circular, greener, low carbon. That's what we do. Some regulations are coming into force in Europe and France where we have a recycled content which is going to come year after year. There will be threshold, so we want to be ready with those uh, options. And also some customers, not so many today, but some customers are placing value on better materials, greener materials. You know, my colleague from the earlier speakership was talking about LEED, BREEAM, Living Building Challenge. Those standards for building, higher-end buildings, are starting to expect a lack of some chemical substances, better materials, and some of our customers, building owners, architects, specifiers, place value on better materials. Scandinavia, Germany, California, higher-end markets around the world, not only Europe, in Asia as well. So we start seeing the, the weak signal of people placing importance on better materials. It's not yet big time, but we want to be there and be ready. So that's why we are doing this testing. Of course, it has to be making financial sense as well. It's, it's for us to find, with BASF, a way to upscale this technology, to make it affordable. We don't target a super high-end market with more expensive materials. We target a, a bigger market, which together we're going to... Uh, explore and, and grow. So that's what I want, wanted to share. Again, thank you, BASF, for, for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. BASF. We create chemistry.